All right, good afternoon, good evening. Um, so, <clears throat> we're going to be uh, going over the skin event, a few things about the skin event, um, because we do have both the uh, chest they can get from it and the uh, optional skin chest. So we'll talk a little bit about those. Uh, it is Sunday, so everything we said. So I gotta go do Awakening Dungeon again. I'm not sure who I'm doing this time. I think I'm gonna start working on my main tanks because uh, look right here, we have plenty of good damage dealers that are working on right now. I think I'm gonna have to start working on uh, <clears throat> Glad, uh, Valkyrie, and Spell Swordsman, and Iron Hoof. Because we did actually swap out the Astrolobes that we had for Iron Hoof and Scarlet Sickle. They, we swapped them over. That was like 4,000 gems. Uh, so now, because he's he struggles with uh, magic resistance, because he has a huge amount of armor and a ridiculous amount of health. So. We gave him Ares, uh, as you can see right here. He gains an additional uh, 2600 HP, almost 500 attack, 450 armor class, 70 magic resistance, plus the shield that is equivalent to 30% of his maximum HP. And then we go over here. He has a lot of HP, which is very good. So we did swap him out. I did like Pisces on him because it made it so he could survive a lot more. But we go over here to fighters. We switch Scarlet with Pisces, and now as you can see, whenever she she has extra life steal, because when she gets into the back of the enemy team, she will do a lot, and I mean a lot of damage. She stuns everyone who has higher HP than her at that moment. She has a revive because if she gets down the first time, she'll sit there and heal, and then she'll go back again. Attack. She's very good. I love her as a female hero, and her skin does seem to be working. So let's go over to the skin event. <clears throat> We do have a few skins primed almost, ready just to get uh, sorted out. Now let's go over here. I don't think they changed the skins inside the uh, chest. We'll go see right now. Let's go over to Smash Eggs. Oh, they did! Look at that, it's Death Mage Warrior Monk. That is so awful for well, the video recording software crashed. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I was talking about entirely. Uh, at least my train of thought very easily. But we were talking about how we can get these skins uh, through other means. Death Mage is from Ward Boss. Very easy to farm. You can even get it from Elite Ward Boss as well. Uh, Warrior Monk you can get from Advanced Skin Tokens. Same with Sniper. I already have all of these skins though, so this is absolutely worthless to me. Um, let's pop one. Okay, I was going to say, we're going to have to see, because it was Werewolf in there as well, so they probably swapped out Werewolf for someone else now. Uh, let's go over to here. We just run through these advanced instincts very fast, because we want to get our skin essences very fast. We might... Uh, I got the gems, I'm thinking about it. We'll do additional two. We did two for each, so that's 600 gems. Because we do have a few skins very close to the level up. I'm pretty sure Death's Voice is right there at the cusp of it. And then we also have Scarlet Sickle almost at 100. She's at like 88 or something like that. I'm not sure about my mages though. But that does definitely suck that we did lose a chance of getting a zombie cyborg skin because the previous box, the optional skin chest, you could get... Like, I might... Uh, I'll probably convert those chests into skin fragments or actually just get Warrior Monk if I do get the optional skin chest so I can finish off Warrior Monk because I don't have a skin all the way, but I have almost all of it. So we'll finish off Warrior Monk if I do get the skin chest and then the rest of it will be skin tokens. But, um, <clears throat> definitely out of there. If Deathmage gets an artifact, she will be very good. Uh, it is nice to see that they're giving people the op opportunity to get Sniper, though, since they just reworked him. Because I've been enjoying him, actually. He's been actually putting in a lot of work. Because, like, Ninja Assassin rushes at him, he hits him with the second shot. His second skill, the fumigating, fumigating shot, which knocks back the target. And with the skin effect, 
it knocks it even back further and it gives it a well no it has a stun effect and then it does knock back with the skin that's what it is anyways let's go over here we'll go over to depth's voice she's gonna be in the fighter tag she is a tank but not really a tank because she doesn't have a lot of hp right here and there we go we got it to 50. now let's go over majors i'm thinking it was yeah it was ice mage i was working on wasn't it because we wanted to make her uh, <clears throat> hp part maxed out so that's there let's go over to the tank category um i think it was hercules as well that i was leveling up Oh, Iron Huff, actually. We need to get Iron Huff finished. We'll get this up to 50. Well, as close as we can. Because um, <clears throat> Iron Huff is definitely an amazing tank, so he deserves all the love. Now, let's go over here, collect all our rewards from the skin event. Yikes, I'm not even in the top 10. We're gonna actually pop some of these uh, hammers and see how everything's looking like. I think tomorrow I'll we'll make another video talking about the skins that are inside the uh, previous one because unfortunately we are out of a chance of getting another skin from that. So we can't get Master Mage or uh, Zombie Cyborg or Evil Rabbit in Mecha 3 easily. Just some wonderful gems right here. Okay, let's go to Smash Egg event. How about Master? Someone crazy, please. I have no idea who's in here. We're gonna find out. Oh, it's Death Knight. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. Because part of me does not like doing War Gods anymore, so I don't even grind out his fragments. So, I mean, this will help me get him. Uh, da, 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 death knight. Just give me all the like 20 fragments, you know? It'd be very nice. I kind of just do it random. Like, I know, oh, there's the reward right there. But I do like to start in the middle, because, yeah, middle seems to do good for me. Do the corners, why not? Maybe right here. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> first one. Wow. I was gonna say, don't tell me I got it on the first try as well again. I am on a roll right now. So we got 17 hammers, and we're gonna be able to get some more out after this. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, we'll do this last one because we just got the rewards. Maybe we can get lucky and get the skin chest. Maybe. I don't think I'm gonna get anything. Alright, last egg. Uh, we'll go to the top left. Nothing. Unfortunate. <clears throat> you have to the skin event. Skin trials. Da, 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 da. Egg smashing. Absolutely smashing, isn't it? <laughs> I need help. Okay. Now, how close was it? Hmm. We could put everything towards Scarlet Sickle. Because, as I said, she's almost 100. Oh, she's... Yeah, never mind. She's 88. You yeah, honestly probably could get... I don't know if we put a lot of those uh, skin chests we just got into it. Yeah, it's gonna be close. Oh yeah, we got our three splendid boxes. Let's see what mythic we get. Ooh, Cancer and then Leo. Cancel's actually very good. Let's actually go look very fast what that was for Cancel. 
Okay, that's not as good as I was hoping. This one's kind of awful because it's for Leo. If this was Capricornius, that would be amazing. That would be so good if it was Capricornius. Oh, sorry, let's go back over here. Da -da -da, where sits this wonderful thing? Okay, 890. That, um, you know, honestly, let's go over this for a little bit. So, you can get this just by playing for free. Um, every month you can get 20 chests for sure. There's a lot of good skins in here. <laughs> a lot of good skins. Like, some of my favorite heroes are in here because I absolutely adore Dual Weird now. Ever since I got a skin and worked him out on him a bit, Nature Storm's very good. Ninja Assassins, very top tier. You can use them end game, any content. Actually, really, he's very good for everything. Uh, Glad, that's how I got my Glad skin. We also have Zombie Cyborg and Dual Trigger, Venom Master, Evil Rabbit. Uh, honestly, I might stop putting towards uh, Elder Giant because of the fact that I almost have his skin as well. So I would like to finish that off. We're going to probably put it towards him. Actually, I can just... Hmm. No, we'll save this for... Actually, let's go see how close we are with uh, Professional Killer versus Sniper. Uh, not Sniper, sorry. <clears throat> versus Warrior Monk. Oh, uh, yeah, that would get me... So I need uh, 100 more fragments still for Professional Killer before I finish him off. Yikes, that kind of sucks. I mean, at least we're getting there. Um, anyways, since we actually do need to unlock a skin, let's go over this chest. I was gonna make another video, but let's go. This is gonna be a long video today. Now, I love Master Mage teams, but they're not as good as they once were. They aren't prevalent anymore because there's plenty of ways to shut her down. Bring, um, for example, you can bring a wonderful hero known as Time Soldier. Easy to get, easy to farm. Definitely worthwhile, he can shut it down. Evil Rabbit, I know, can do really good. Uh, you can get his crystals from the uh, VIP chest that you get at 11 or 7 or whatever they changed it to. So I can actually farm out his crystals. So I could get him high awakened if he gets an artifact. But in all honesty, I kind of want to go Zombie Cyborg because I can get... I could actually get all three of them through the uh, skin chest, but this is a guaranteed skin right now. I think I'm gonna have to go Zombie Cyborg because he has potential for sure. And I almost have—I have him almost awakened versus Evil Rabbit's a bit away. And I kind of want to more get Ninja Assassin leveled up before I even focus on Evil Rabbit. So I think, yeah, it's gonna be Zombie Cyborg. Because I have Hercules to pair with him, you know? So, it's a skin they can pair up together very nicely. I actually have to go over to the Grand Arena shop and spend all the coins I've been saving. So I can actually get his fragments, because he's actually almost there. I'm hoping that they give Zombie Cyborg a artifact soon, because he could definitely use it. Any artifact would actually make him very good. If he gets immunity when he's low, oh, that'd be kind of crazy. Or even if he restores his HP when he's low, that's also very good. A lot of potential with him. Because he can do a lot of damage. Let's just finish out the skin. Um, sorry game. Well, that glitched out. Um, it'll fix itself later, though. Well, now we have Zombie Cyborg skin. Let's uh, change our avatar to him. We actually have quite a few. Actually, yeah. Let's actually switch our frame as well, because I've had that frame on for a minute. Where is Zombie Cyborg? Am I blind? I might be a little bit blind. Oh, there he is. There we go. Um, <clears throat> we can go into Grand Arena. See how this potential we can have. Because I 
have to uh, do... We also just finished Mount, uh, Mountain's Gear for his Legendary Quest. But we actually had to finish... Um... Ah, what do you call it? We had to finish Outland Portal, Fastland, High Difficulty four times with... Uh, Mo ah, Mountain on our team, which won't be that bad because we have Hercules to pair with him. So he will be immune to being fr frozen. And he'll gain an attack bonus. Um, I hope that they buff Mon a Mountain, honestly, so he can pair up with Hercules. Uh, but I know Zombie Cyborg pairs pretty well with Hercules, especially for Outland Portal. That's my thought process behind that. Because I want him to put out some crazy damage and he can heal the team. So that's why I like Zombie Cyborg. I, I know, even Rabbit's very good. But... Yeah, we're just gonna... We went for a zombie cyborg. Anyways, let's go finish this uh, run through. Pretty sure. Do we put it on four times speed? My teams have been putting holding their own pretty well. Especially since we actually got... Um, yeah, it is on four times speed. We also got the Scorpio constellation all mythic on our wonderful ice mage and we got her artifact to level 80 so she is outputting quite a bit of damage and it's wonderful because honestly i think this was good choice switching everyone's artifacts around we're gonna probably swap off leo off sniper and give him something else i'm not sure yet maybe give it so he does extra damage to the closest enemy when he pops his ultimate uh because someone is right on him he can deal extra damage Alright, so the video cut out again, um, then I had to step away for a moment, so um, <clears throat> we're going to do the exit for the outro for this video right now. Now let's go over here, we did unlock a skin so we can get some more skin fragments. Now, what is closest? 1500 right there, okay. Oh <sighs> yeah. We did not actually have a lot of uh, SN saved up this event, but it's okay. Let's go to Reinoff, put everything towards him. And uh, yeah, that should be the video. We're going to make some more videos coming up. I am starting my new job soon, so it's going to be a bit of a hectic schedule. We'll see how it goes. We got him to 41. Okay. We might be lucky enough to get him... Uh, to 50 during the end of this event as well. But anyways, uh, that should be it for today's video. Um, everyone have a wonderful day, and uh, yeah, leave feedback if you'd like to. Anyways, goodbye.